Hey everybody, welcome back live at Drew's house, Joppa Afternoon Drive. Hope everybody is doing well out there. We got Ryan Rothberg in the house producing for what I believe to be a uh, under the weather Sarah Blackstone today. So I hope you're doing better out there, Sarah. Feel better. Uh, but today, hey, this always makes everybody feel better. Chocolate. That is the theme of today's show. How about that? We got the uh, 19th annual Newburyport Chocolate Tour. It is this Saturday from noon to four. And uh, well, here are some people not only involved with it. Diane Clark, you run this thing. Kevin Clark in the house. How are you guys? Thanks for coming on. Oh, good. Thanks. It's first time on the show for both of you. Yes. And you and you get to you get to talk chocolate. This is exciting. Well, well, how do you become uh, in charge of the Newburyport Chocolate Tour? <laughs> how does this happen? Well, it started a long time ago. The history of the Chocolate Tour, 19 years ago, was actually started by the Red Cross. Oh. Those of us who have been around a while remember the Red Cross used to have an office on Green Street, and they okay. used it as a fundraiser, and. Um, they, it basically was run just as it is now. The Red Cross moved out of town well, approximately 10 years ago and became uh, kind of moved towards Boston. They were not interested in doing the fundraiser anymore. And so I raised my hand and said, do you mind if we take it over? This is organized by Central Congregational Church here in Newburyport oh. and uh, just loosely organized. Uh, the volunteers come from all over the community. We use almost 120 volunteers. Uh, to put this event on mm. and basically drew are you ready for the description sure Great. i'm very ready okay hold your breath <laughs> it is very similar to adult trick-or-treat but it's for kids as well huh. and what happens is you buy a ticket and uh the ticket it gives you the chance to do a walking tour through newburyport and you, this year you'll be visiting 33 different stores. Wow. The stores will give you, uh, or the volunteers that we, we put in the stores, will be passing out chocolates at each stop. Wow. So you put your chocolates in your little yellow bag, or you eat along the way. Um, the tickets are $20 ahead of time, but we're sort of run out of time to sell pre-sale yeah. tickets. So $25 on the day of, we start the tour. And you do do walk-ins. That's always a big question. Oh, yes, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. We, we save tickets for walk-ins. Mm -hmm. uh, so the tour starts uh, at 12 o'clock on Saturday. It starts outside the Unitarian Universal Church in Newburyport on Pleasant Street. Mm -hmm. So people come and they uh, buy their ticket there. They start the tour. And uh, the tour runs from 12 to 4. So you have four hours to walk that's through a, all those stores. It's a lot of chocolate. It is a lot of chocolate. Here you go. I'll show the flyer here, too, because the flyer is beautiful. Who made this? Uh, that is done by Dingo Creative. Oh. She volunteers her, her uh, work for us. She's been doing it for years. Yeah, about that. Hopefully I get that. It looks good from the camera. I think, Ryan, you give me the thumbs up. Look good? All right. Ryan says it looks good. That's important. They got the fall, kind of the fall color feel, too. That was well That's well great. done, I think. I'll give it back to you. It's great. That's excellent. Very good promo. Very good. All right. So, Kevin, so are you just uh, the, the expert chocolate eater or what the? No, I wish. But, <laughs> you know, I do the finances, so collecting, <laughs> making up the tickets, yep. uh, distributing the tickets. We also have it online with Square. And the day of way, you can use cash, check, or a uh, credit card Cool. Uh, to uh, buy their tickets. What do you hope for uh, numbers-wise? Well, we sell, we limit it to 400 tickets. So okay. So the store is So you want 400. 400 <laughs> is the goal. All right. And so uh, Diane can talk more about it, but we have uh, shoot for about $14,000 that we can give away to the beneficiaries each year. Wow. You want to talk a little bit more about those? Absolutely. Yeah. So in the uh, years, uh, well, the Central Church has been doing this. This is our 10th year. Mm -hmm. We have given away just under $100,000. Wow. And every year we choose new beneficiaries, except for we always do the four councils on aging for prescription refill um, mm -hmm. uh payments and so they are always a beneficiary um, that's Salisbury Amesbury Newburyport and Newberry uh, but then there's always two to three new beneficiaries every year this year we've got great ones We're, I'm gonna tell you about meatball oh yeah meatball <laughs> is the new Amesbury police dog uh, replacing Achilles who mm -hmm. is retiring and Meatball needs uh, money for training, equipment, and food. Okay. So Meatball is one of our beneficiaries. We always have an animal beneficiary. Yep. And then we're also, we chose Greenstone Gives. This is a new group out of Amesbury. Helps families impacted by COVID by mm -hmm. uh, job loss. 
and it really helps their kids uh, continue in sports. And then our last one for this year is Newburyport Arts Collective. Mm -hmm. And this happened during COVID. The arts groups in Newburyport got together and sort of pooled their resources. So we have chosen them as one of our beneficiaries. Oh, nice. And what happens is after the tour, and we all catch our breath, <laughs> about three weeks later, we have a ceremony and we invite everybody to Central Congregational Church and we present the checks. 100% of the proceeds go to the beneficiaries. So each group gets roughly $2,500. Wow. Well, that's so, great. It's great. It's um, a lot of fun. You know, there's no um, shortage of, of charities to be a part of out there. It must be kind of hard to, to zero in. I know you have an idea of directions you want to go, but uh, is that kind of a tough process, picking what charities to support? What do you think? Yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. that's the first thing they do is Diane gets the committee together, whoever's volunteering, and mm -hmm. they come up with ideas of who they want to consider. <laughs> How big's the committee? Uh, this year, it's, we have 15. Oh, geez. So you get plenty of ideas. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Plenty <laughs> we did ideas, yeah. Yeah. Sorting, But, you know, sort of the guidelines, you know, uh, aging, arts, pets, yep. and um, some other one. Gotcha. So it's done pretty good. We've had, How many have we done in the last nine years? 20? Yeah, 20, with different, 20 different groups. 20. Wow. 20 mm -hmm. different groups. Very so. cool. Yeah. Meatball's a pot, and he's a little bit of a celebrity now, isn't he? I think they asked the public for his name. Is that right? Do you remember that story? No, I don't. I, no. I could be wrong. One of the local canines, I, I remember it working in the newsroom in Boston. They were doing a thing where we're getting a new canine. It's going to put it out there. He needs a name. And yeah. I, I think, think it might, might have been, been Meatball. Meatball. Yeah. I could, I could be wrong. It might be another community, but I thought it was Meatball for some reason. Either way, great name. Well, they yeah. use his Meatball in the newspaper every time he... You know, yeah. it's working hard. He yeah. will be there on Saturday as well. He's going to come by and visit all the volunteers. All right. No chocolate for Meatball, though, right? No chocolate. Yeah. No I think, chocolate. As, I think that's a no-no as a dog owner here. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So we do, um, the way that we, uh, we not only sell the 400 tickets, but we also sell ads in our booklet. Mm -hmm. And that's where we really make the money in terms of... Um, pulling in more than the ticket price yeah, yeah, and helps us give away more money of course we also have a very robust a basket raffle yep. that's set up at the at the ticket sales place and, cool. and people that cannot do the tour or maybe we've run out of tickets they can always drop a ticket into a basket and maybe win it does it combine two loves one helping out charities and two chocolate or absolutely <laughs> yeah, okay and yeah. just yeah. fun yeah <laughs> It is. There's really no better place to do it, right? I mean, it's such a beautiful walking yeah. downtown. And, 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 and to see all the people with their yellow bags crisscrossing yeah. downtown, downtown uh, Newburyport is, is kind of neat. It must be a and cool balloons. thing. Lots of balloons yeah. are out. And we cover the downtown, but also the tannery. Mm -hmm. uh, we send people yep. out to the town. We always have to turn down stores that want to get in on the deal. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, um, and the stores are the ones that provide the chocolates. Um, I always like to mention BC Essentials because they actually do a chocolate scrub oh, okay. hands. And then Radiant U is a new place, um, a facial place, and she's going to be offering 10-minute uh, facials, wow. chocolate facials, as chocolate well facials. as fudge from Candyman. Wow. How about that? There might be a line at that place. There to start. might be a line. <laughs> I think I'm going to get in line. That, so that's that's a good twist on that because I was wondering. I was like, you know, someone, there's no way there's 30 places in Newburyport that sell chocolate. So where's it? No. <laughs> yeah. So they, they get it from each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Simply Sweet provides, New England yeah. Chocolate provides, Candyman. Yeah. And some uh, owners of stores have baked cookies or uh, Starbucks does their famous hot chocolate. Wow. So there's so, quite a variety. Yeah, you get a good variety. So it's not getting the same piece of chocolate at each store. Yeah, yeah. No, not get at something all. a little bit different each store. That so. is a very cool thing. Ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. 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 Wow. At the creamery, right? Yeah, Harbor Creamery. Yeah, the smile to your face yeah. there. <laughs> you, like, you like the idea of that? Again, we're talking with Diane Clark and Kevin Clark uh, putting together the Newburyport Chocolate Tour here, which is this Saturday. Starts at noontime, uh, noon to four. So get out there and uh, get to what you say it was yellow bags? Yes. You get your yellow bag and get out there and uh, go do all the tasting. It must be, I always say that with this thing, you, you can't do this in every community, right? Like there's something about Newburyport and like the cooperation of like just the businesses. I Maybe you run into some issues from time to time i don't know but every time i deal with businesses in newburyport they always seem extra willing to help out if it's for the right cause and that's what i have found in my years here 
Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And no. the chamber's been good too. So we go to them. They help do some advertisement. And, yep. You know, so, and they had us come in. Was it last week or two weeks ago for a news article? They were doing like three or four different events that they were oh, okay. sponsoring. We were one of them to get into the newspaper. Oh, nice. So, so to your point of. Uh, the business there being very supportive and helpful. Yeah. And plus, you have Newberry Port and the river. So it's a great yeah. place for people to come. So that's a good draw, also. Yeah, it is. It's already a great place to walk. You add chocolate, it's a perfect place to walk. Right? <laughs> yeah, I actually, I've told this story before, but my uh, my wife ran the Boston Marathon and she oh. had to run, uh, I don't know if you know what goes into that, uh, mm. but, but you have to raise a lot of money if you're not oh, some absolutely. crazy uh, time qualifier, you know? And uh, she was not that. So she, I was like, you know, I've kind of, new reports become my second home. I know a lot of the business owners. Maybe, maybe they'd help you out. Uh, you know, one of my friends gives us the, brewery uh, chris yep. webb lets us yeah. borrow the brewery for the night i was like wow that's great i appreciate that then we walked around town and literally i watched her do this she walked into all these places downtown i can't tell you how many people donated whatever like like really like great stuff that we made into baskets that we raffled yeah. off and it just it really helped i was like she walked out of here like i think i love that place <laughs> like what, a, what an unbelievable group of people so yeah, i don't know i do always like to tell that story about newburyport just one walk. I think we did it two days. Walked through downtown, and she popped her head in, and it was just uh, the, incredibly helpful. How how eager people were to help good causes and all that. So yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. I'll just add that one here before the. Uh, all right. What do we need to know? What's the uh, unique things about the chocolate tour? Like, what's the story from the past that you like that uh, will always stick with you? I think uh, one of them is um, a couple of years ago. The whole group of young kids showed up, and yeah. they had a parent with them and it was a birthday party oh and this has happened again so for the birthday party the parents bought a bag for every child and they had a ball it's a great idea yeah so they yeah. went through the stores and that was the party wow and plus yeah. they were helping us yeah i always love that story that is a great story what and a the, great idea and the volunteers come from all over you know lots of youth but um senior citizens mm-hmm. and people from other areas and um, and they're always enjoying it too. Yeah. So. Do, do you get like the? Uh, I know there's some. I've, I've seen uh, chocolate like professional taste taste testing. Are there are there like uh, critics that will come out and go? You know what? I think the best chocolate was. <laughs> yes. Okay. That does <laughs> happen. So. Okay. There is. And yeah. and the stores. You know, so one of these days we've got to have a, a little prize for the best chocolates, or yeah. because the stores definitely compete with each other. Oh yeah. And M. Coco will be coming. He has a shop in Amesbury. He's going to have his chocolates at the firehouse. Oh okay. So that's a big draw. And uh, but all the all the stores have yeah have great. I don't know. They're very. They use a lot of imagination. I have to tell John Moynihan at the firehouse to keep his hands off. Yes. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. I hear he yes. loves the chocolate. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if he loves chocolate. I'm sure he does. Yeah. Of <laughs> Who course. Who doesn't love Who chocolate? Doesn't? Dogs. I think that's the only thing, yeah. right? Yeah. What is the rule with dogs? Like my dogs have definitely accidentally had chocolate before. It has to be some crazy amount, right? If to, yeah. for them to get sick. Yeah, and it's it's not good. I it's do, not I good. know that. Yeah, I know you're not <laughs> supposed to. <laughs> yeah. I remember having that scare as an early dog owner of like <gasps> you got into the Halloween. Candy, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think everybody the has Easter that. Easter candy. And yeah. Is this kind of strategically played? Is it? Oh, is it always right around now? This. Um. Actually, we we got a bit off schedule with COVID. Yeah. Although we did not stop. We did do a drive-by, um, chocolate drive here at, yes. at the senior center yeah. that year, and pulled in three thousand dollars in one in one day. Wow. Um, Pretty smooth the senior center uh, drive-through. Yeah, yeah. Very smooth. <laughs> yeah. You just drive through, grab yeah. your chocolate, and uh, that was just free chocolate and. People just drove through and everybody donated because they're very generous. Yes. Um, so uh, at that point, we we went to the October time frame because May was mm. interfering uh, with – or COVID was interfering with May. So this is our second year of doing October. The stores seem to prefer it. Yeah. Well, you got Halloween um, approaching. You kind of yeah. well, that yeah. seems that actually seems weird to say already. It feels like summer's not that far behind us, but it is. It's over, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. but for the first six <laughs> years, it was in May. It was yeah. like yeah. the yeah. weekend yeah. before Mother's Day. Oh, so okay. That worked out pretty yep. good. For, oh yeah. As a gift idea and stuff. Yep. But uh, and the weather was a little more unpredictable. Yeah. Right. But, right. But the, we moved it to October last year because COVID and with restrictions yep and then all of a sudden yankee homecoming said hey i think we could do it in may they got the decision to go ahead so diane said well if we're going to do it we could do it in october so we picked a date in october hmm. store owners liked it a little bit better 
because there wasn't anything going on this weekend. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't have the long weekend there, and you don't have September ending. Yeah. So it was successful last year, so we left it here. So. There you go. So this is the, this is the place. Yeah, we didn't overthink it. <laughs> you didn't know. Well, well, well done. So 19th, that means the big ones next year. Yeah. Not, I don't want to jump ahead past the Great Day Saturday, but you guys, you must already be thinking about big plans for the 20th anniversary of this yeah. thing, right? I, I, I was so. planning on not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you're done? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, darn. I, I don't think you're, you're off the hook yet. Oh, darn. <laughs> we got to go for the 20th. Oh, uh, okay. Is it, I do not. I mean, I, you laugh and have all the fun in the world. It is a lot of work, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. It takes about three and a half months to put together. Wow. And um, But the committee makes all the difference because uh, everybody has a different task. And just coordinating the volunteers um, because we do use about 120 people that day. Wow. Because we put volunteers in every store to per shift um, we don't want the store owners to have to do anything extra mm. oh they're already providing chocolate yeah and we want to make it as easy as possible there you go yeah. wow that's a big big crew yeah yeah, I, mean, I know it's a big city, but it's a big crew. That's a big crew. That's a, that's a lot of eager people. <laughs> wow. What's the uh, do, you, do you do you like the old school chocolates personally, or what's the uh, what are you going for? Do you do you like to mix it up? You I know you're looking forward to the facial yeah, or yeah, yeah yeah I don't know I I never get to a be sample. honest I, I like don't know. I like the Tootsie Pops down at uh, Black Duck Deli you know the uh, simple Tootsie Pops but, <laughs> uh, but uh, everybody just uh, yeah. uh, I know. Pretty Poppy for years did lava cakes from oh, wow. uh, Diane's desserts. And I mean, they, they pull in. And I think the fudge from Candyman is going to be really good. Now, I mm. will indulge with that. <laughs> I always <laughs> sneak around. And, but the volunteers are not allowed to eat the chocolates. Is that the rule? Only, okay. There's yeah. only 400 pieces of chocolates. So. If you sample a couple and those Kevin last... Kevin but this is why he doesn't want to do a 20th. He's I done know, with... I know, those last participants. <laughs> All that temptation you don't get to have. It is but a lot. Every once in a while, store, a new store will say, well, do we really have to do 400? And I say, yes. Yeah. Because if you stop at 350 and 50 people show up at your door and wanting their chocolate, yeah. ooh, that's not pretty. Not a good situation, no. Not a no. good situation. Okay. We've been fortunate, I think, the last, other than the one year where we did the drive-by, I think the last three years we've sold 400 or 390 yeah. right there, so we've right, been right at the limit. Yeah, you're gonna, you don't want to be short, you don't want to have a million extra pieces either, of people no, who couldn't get yeah. to a certain place, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Or forget about a play, I'm sure that happens too, maybe. Well, you can't get to all 32 easily, so you yeah. have to be dedicated. Yeah, so what do most people do? Do they just on, on foot? Could there, there are any ways to get, do you see skateboards out there, rollerblades? I, I tell you, sometimes, because they get really intense yeah. sometimes, because they, and you know, the people that want it, definitely hit all 33 yeah. places yeah uh, but fortunately in Newburyport the stores are close to each other and and but what's nice is you can kind of linger too or stop and have lunch and come back to the mm. tour or do the tour backwards you don't have to do uh, yeah. follow the route uh, exactly and uh, you can just make a day of it yeah a full day and yeah. have lunch along the way. And yeah, it is nice. The early start, I mean, it's early for, for me. I, you know, it's actually not early. For, I get up early, so I like everything to start early. I like I like, the, I like the lunch day things to be at 12, and I like the night things to start at 5. None of this late stuff. <laughs> That's where I'm at in life. I told my buddy, my, but we have a lot of musicians in here that play, and uh, I said, oh, you're playing? When, when are you playing? He goes, yeah, we start at 9.30. I go, 9.30. You know what time I got to get up in the morning? I'm not going to be out to see you at 9.30. I'm sorry. You played till 12. Yeah. Remember Boston's uh, Mayor Menino there, the late Mayor yeah. Menino passed away? He saw, I was a young uh, young worker in the WBZ newsroom, a young writer. And uh, he came in. There was just like two, the two anchors, maybe maybe uh, one other, four, four of us or so. Mayor Menino comes in for an interview. And he says, um, I forget what he was pushing. He was art, he was like fighting against the extended bar hours or something in Boston. He never liked that. He wanted the curfew to be the curfew. He goes, you, how old are you? And I'm, oh, uh, I'm 22, Mr. Mayor, however I, uh, old you are. <laughs> first job out of college. And I, I said, I'm, I'm 23. He goes, 23. What time do you go to bed? He goes, I've been working this 4 a.m. shift. I'm going to bed early. He goes, there you go. See that right there? Nobody needs to be out after midnight. <laughs> Nothing good happens after midnight. I'm looking at the mayor. Take my little comment and run with it for the newsroom. I was oh, like, yeah. Mayor Menino. That's one of the stories I'll always remember about him. He was a good guy to us back in the day, but the old Boston newsroom. Yeah. Uh, I digress. Sorry. Diane Clark, Kevin Clark, uh, organizers of the Newburyport Chocolate Tour. It is Saturday noontime. It is the 19th annual Newburyport Chocolate Tour where you can, uh, well, it's safe to say, get your chocolate fix. I bet that you mentioned the parties and stuff. The kids must love it. It must be a very energized oh, city yes. during that day. Yeah. A bunch of kids running around eating chocolate. 
Okay. And, and adults. And <laughs> I, adults. I know the adults yeah. do, but I just picture like when you talk about like running to 30 different places, it sounds right up like uh, if I was like 15 years, maybe younger, 12 years old, I'd love to run around and try to see oh, if yeah. I could get to all 30, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's it's a what nice, I would do. safe activity and just, you yeah. know, you're, you're outside. Go too far. You're outside, you're moving. Yeah. It's all good. It is all good. Um, any parking, that sort of thing? Uh, it, well, we have the you're parking. You're on your own. Parking. You're on your own. <laughs> yeah. Parking garage, the big parking lot. Yeah. yeah. It's all. It amazes yeah. me how much parking there actually is here. When you, yeah. I, it's funny. I've come in for big events. I'm like, oh, I wonder if maybe I shouldn't have tackled driving right in. And I'm, no, no, this worked out. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Sometimes yeah. you have to be a little, a couple blocks outside of the main square, but it's yeah. not, not un- unbearable. Parallel yeah. parking skills aren't the worst thing in the world. To have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We uh, never hear complaints. Let's put it never that heard. way. All right, no, so no, parking's not an issue. Uh, it, we, we did a thing with uh, the Plum Island. Uh, Plum Fest was last uh, two weeks ago, and they were talking about that. Plum Island gets a little trickier. Oh, it yes. was oh. fun. Yeah. Oh, did you go? I, oh, loved it. Oh, great. It was a great time. Oh, cool. I great wish I, event. I had a, a birthday party. I was out of town. I uh, never would have missed that, but uh, I heard it was great. Yeah. Good weather. You guys looking Perfect. like a good forca- forecast? You guys already looked yes. ahead. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it say? Do you already promise it on the flyer? Promise good with <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, we, we never, we never postpone. Hey, that's for sure. This, yeah. is, this is New England, so you never predict. Yeah. Right? Well it's said. Supposed, yeah. It's supposed to be late in the high 60s and uh, partly cloudy, light breeze. And yeah. it's perfect. It's all indoors, indoor, mostly indoors. Cool. You just True. walk faster if it's a yes. sprinkle. Yeah, it becomes a whole different game if it's yes. raining out, right? Yeah. The um, any other? Uh, I, I know you mentioned a lot of your volunteers. Is there anybody that's jumping out at you right now that like you know what I really couldn't do this without is, uh, it, is without, it all of them uh without the promise of chocolate or no 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 <laughs> i just mean like name dropping is there somebody like uh i don't know in your back pocket that like is just uh you know when you really need something oh. that you call on or julie's been great or whatever oh it's got to be kevin Kevin. Oh, well, gotta, there you it's go. It's got to be Kevin. I wasn't expecting well, I, that, Kevin. I get called a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He pick, he picks up anything and yeah. covers it all. But so. Aaron and Donna, they Aaron do and Donna, it on the yeah. stores and stuff. And yeah, they've been doing many, it for years. Many of our volunteers are on the committee have been doing it for a full 10 years. It's wow. our 10th year together. Volunteers must really enjoy the day to keep coming back after yes. all those years. Because that's a long span. I mean, a decade of the yeah. same tours. Especially to be on the committee. Because it's a lot of work on the committee and time consuming um, too. No, not particularly. We have it pretty well organized. Yeah. But um, there's but chocolate. You have, yeah, you have to. <laughs> I, there's every every committee meeting has. You have to have some chocolate. You have to. It'd be weird yeah. if you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And tonight's our last meeting. We'll be um, actually stuffing the 400 little yellow bags with the booklets and a napkin and oh, okay. a baggie to put extra chocolates in. Oh, all right. And so tonight will will be our final wrap up. Where do you meet? At our house. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So it's and then you. I'm assuming you don't see these people again for a little while. Yeah, for a little while. Is that a little sad when you get to the last meeting? It's like yeah. we've done a great job. I bet yeah. this is kind of a somber night a little bit. Yep, it is a little bit somber, and there. But we're all glad to take a break. Yeah, yeah. that's probably true. It's yeah. full steam ahead, and then and, uh, and then we get together to hand out the checks. You know, in three yeah. weeks we'll be all together, and we have matching shirts, and we do a big presentation, and. We have bouquets of flowers for all the beneficiaries. Yep. Uh, meatball. I don't know what we're going to give Meatball, but yeah. Meatball will come and get his check. Does Meatball like meatballs? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't how, know. How, how did the? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. If that was the what I was thinking of the news store, I don't know where that name came from. Maybe maybe he has a certain I'll look have to, to him. To ask yeah. the trainer. Yeah. I wonder. I would, let me. You'll have to let me know if I'm right on that. I, I could. I know it's a local canine, and I thought it was Meatball, but you know, I don't know. There's a lot of great local canines. Yeah. I do love the. Uh, we we're actually just talking about the the canines today and how. How, uh, how, how almost every department is like getting them now, and they're just you know unbelievably trained. Yeah. How uh, and a, good, a lot of work goes into training them too. A, a tremendous yeah. amount. Tommy Nichols is Meatball's trainer, and I think Meatball is his sixth dog. Oh wow. Um, you know because they stay on for a while, they retire, and then yeah. he gets a new dog, trains, keeps going. A lot of times, the ones yeah. they train, they actually bring into the house. Does Tommy? Does he end up giving them to other families or? Does no, I think he keeps, keeps them all, all his dogs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That must be, I mean, I know yeah. some obviously 
pass away, but you know, as time goes on, but uh, he's going to have a house full of canine dogs. I, I bet he does. Yeah, yeah I know he has know. Achilles there. Yeah, so I know he has two right yeah. now. Two. Right. Yeah. And both could both were on the job canine workers. Yeah. Right. And Achilles was before and just huh. just now retiring. Oh, we might have to talk to Tommy someday. I feel like that's a fascinating story. Like, do they do oh. they do the dogs know? Like, hey, former canine officer. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, they must yeah. right. Yeah, right. he definitely has a presence with his dogs. Wow. So, yeah. That is a fact. I've always yeah I've always thought that's a fascinating relationship. The uh, canine officer. Canine he, yes. He'd be good one to interview because he's yeah. a good friend of our son-in-law who's on the Ainsbury Police Department. So there you uh, go. I got my in now. Now we'll get him on the show. Oh it's yes. Good. Yeah, <laughs> lots of lots to talk about. Um, well, all right. Did we miss anything? You tell me. What, what else do people need to know? You know, I don't think so. Just um, come on down to yep. Unitarian Church, Pleasant Street, close to noon. Okay. And uh, pick up, buy your ticket, $25. And buy a ticket and take off and enjoy the afternoon. Fun and, day. And if you've got a ticket that you got in advance, just come to the same place. That's where you pick up your bag. Just show your ticket or tell us your name and we'll have it marked off. And then you get started at the same place. All right. And if even if you're all set, make sure you come say hello. You like saying hello to everybody? I love saying hello <laughs> to everybody. I'm a people person. <laughs> there you go. I, I love all the volunteers and all the participants. There you go. Well, why not? As uh, you hold that flyer up one more time, just we'll get that on the... Uh, Ryan, you hey, get the, here, I'll do it, Sherry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it on my end just to make sure I can see myself here. There we go. All right. So it's the 19th annual Newburyport Chocolate uh, Tour here. It's Saturday at noontime. Look at that flyer. Isn't that nice? It's been great to have Diane Clark, Kevin Clark on the show today talking a little bit about it. Uh, get down there for noontime again this Saturday and uh, support a bunch of great causes that we talked about uh, earlier. I like that on the bottom. I didn't see that. Eat chocolate, be happy, do good. That's our motto. That's, our That's motto. it. That's our motto. There you go. Saturday at 12 o'clock. It's been great to meet you, Diane. Kevin, this has been fun. First time on the show. Appreciate it so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Thank Big you. thanks to Ryan Rothberg to uh, doing the show. He's handling all the duties today with uh, Sarah Blackstone. Uh, out so we appreciate ryan you are a good man thanks for doing it my name is drew mahal and this has been live at true's house Joppa afternoon drive see you next time everybody